my channel. To today I am sharing with you my August Wild Hair Kits Killa Kit video. I'm sorry about my little kitty here. Harvey, you could at least say hello. Um, she will move. <laughs> That's the goal at least. Um, now, you probably noticed I didn't post a lot this month, and that's because I spent a lot of time cleaning my craft room and reorganizing it to kind of get my uh, crafty, creative, you know, spunk back. So hopefully that will help, and I'm sure you'll see more videos in September than you did in August. So I apologize for that, but um, that's just kind of the way things go. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, what I created with my wild hair kit for the month. Um, for the wild hair kit, to get a kit, you just simply fill out a style profile and they'll curate a kit for you based on your style and the products you like and manufacturers and the projects you're working on for the month. So um, if you want to see what I started off with in my kit, you are more than welcome to go to the video I posted on the second of the month and you'll find everything there. I'll put the link down below for the wild hair kits. And let's jump into it. So I didn't make a lot this month. Um, oh, forgot one thing. Let me just get it. Okay, I didn't make a lot this month. Um, but you'll, yeah, like I said, I was doing a lot of cleaning, but I did about five or six projects. So I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you what paper I have left. So I just have this little piece here. I used it for this side. Um, I have these little scraps left. And then this, as you can see, I did some cup files. If you've seen the videos, then you would know that as well. Um, I got these gorgeous Pink Fresh Studio little, they have like, they're kind of dimensional and layered. So these are really pretty. I apologize if my lighting's really horrible. It's late at night and uh, try my best. <laughs> Um, also I got these Maggie Home stickers, so I have just a little bit left, so this will just go in my Maggie Home stash. And then I still have quite a few pieces left from this chipboard sheet from Pink Fresh Studio, but it's really gorgeous. I love the plants and the globe and stuff, uh, so I think that's really cute. Um, in this bowl, I have some of the, oh, this came off the, uh, sticker sheet that was on there too. But I have some of these um, acetate pieces left from Pink Fresh Studio. They're these little flowers and they're just absolutely stunning. I'll put them down here and you'll probably be able to see them well. Look how gorgeous those are. So beautiful. Um, yeah, so I use Harvey. Basically every project I use them, um, almost. Okay, so next um, I just have one flare left and it's this one, so let's roll, so that will just go into my stash. I actually didn't end up using twine, which is too bad, but maybe uh, I can use it for a different project. And then I got tons of these little acrylic stars and I love them so much. I, I got so many in my kit. Um, I use them on most projects as well, so you will see those um, in my projects. Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay, well, this will be interesting. So there was a process video for this. You would have seen this already, but um, I made these cute little mailboxes. They were a little challenging to make with the uh, cup file I used. Um, and not the cup file's fault, just the nature of what this is. But um, I think they turned out really cute. Um, like I said, there's a process video. And on that process video, you'll find all the links for... Um, for the cut file and everything. So that's just the Happy Meal, that's the only Happy Meal stuff I made. But I did do some scrapbook layouts. So this one does have a process video. I used the cut file that came in the kit. So if you get our deluxe kit, then the cut file will come in it. Um, if you get the petite kit, then it will come, uh, then you can just get it online or you can request it. Everyone has access to uh, the cut files online. So I just love the um, dimension, extra, I don't know, extra layers that this sun cut file gives and this paper was really perfect for it. And then put, put in some different texture from these birds and the stickers that are like it, they're like kind of like an epoxy kind of. 
I don't really know. <laughs> um, and then the acetate flowers, of course, a little bit of journaling, some ripped paper. This is Pink Fresh Studio Paper. It's actually extremely sturdy uh, compared to other brand papers. Look at her, seriously. She just plopped herself down. Um, yeah, so this was great for background paper. Uh, it was already all like this, which is really great with all the watercolor in the background. And I think it just looks so cute with that background paper. I usually use white, but uh, this was just a no-brainer when I saw it. Okay, this one is with the sketch. Um, there should have been a video for this one as well, so you would have seen that, but um, I did use a white background for this one and some navy Heidi Swap color shine. I did some journaling and then layered some papers and distressed it, used those stars again and a doily from my stash and some of those little pieces from the Maggie home sheet. So that is that, uh, using the sketch. A lot of people use the sketch this month from our design team, which is so awesome. So you can go check out the other pages, uh, the pages that they did. This is for a scrap lift challenge. So each month what we're gonna do is scrap lift someone from the design team. Uh, this, team this time it was actually me. <laughs> They're like, it was your idea, let's do you first. So. This is scrap lifting myself, which was interesting, uh, but I guess kind of easy. I actually did 12 by 12, which is pretty uh, out of the ordinary for me, but I just absolutely loved, loved, loved this paper, loved the grid design. And the one I scrap lifted was basically the, the scrapbook page I scrap lifted of myself was basically a picture in the middle and embellishments just all around it, like a giant cluster and lots of layers. So that's kind of what I was aiming for here. It's a little empty, like around, but I, I like the way it looks and I like this on the side with for the title and all the layers and the flowers. And again, I use the um, Navy Heidi Swap Color Shine. I use this frame as a layer, doily from my stash. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out in the end. And lastly is this layout. I wanted to figure out because I kept putting these uh, these little guys on um, on different layouts and none of it, it was never working for me. Um, they, I, yeah, I just couldn't figure it out. So I thought I'm, I th I'm going to intentionally do a grid layout so that I can make that work. That was kind of the vision I had in my head. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. Again, use the flare, use... The stickers from the Maggie Holmes, uh, the acrylic stars, and the flowers, of course, from the Pink Fresh Studio Collection. Now, when I took this out just now a few minutes ago, I, um, I, this flower was not here. It had fallen off and I didn't see that. So there was this big empty space here. I didn't do this journaling. And I was like, what is that about? So I was like, that looks really odd. Why would I have just left it like that? So I did some journaling. And then, of course, I realized that the pen is blue and not black and was kind of frustrated. But I was like, well, oh, well, there's other p pieces of blue in it. Um, and then after that, I found the flower on my desk and realized that it f had fallen off. So I just added it here, which kind of makes it look like a lot of empty space up here. But it is what it is, and I still think it looks cute, and I got it, this all documented, and that's what matters. So um, I did a doodly border. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this one. Yeah, just a grid layout, and I really like doing grid layouts every once in a while. I don't like doing it every time, but every couple months I like to do a grid layout, and that's fun for me. So that's all I have to share. Uh, share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, I hope to get more videos out uh, to you soon. Um, you can find my unboxing video in a couple days that will be on my channel and all on the other girls channels as well. And uh, so be on the lookout for that. And hopefully I'll get a lot of projects out to you in the month of September. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.